Hey, this is John Young. Today we're looking at two different drills. We've got the DeWalt. These are both half inch drills. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the two working on our K drill. K drill is an ice auger that's used up here in Minnesota to drill holes through the ice for ice fishermen. There's people going out right now and gonna be having some fun this afternoon. But you need to make a hole through this thick ice. K drill will do it, but it works with a cordless drill. We've got the Ryobi. This is the new and the high performance series. This is the PBL HM101. This is basically the first drill in the Ryobi line that can produce 750 inch pounds of pressure or torque. In the DeWalt, we've got the DeWalt. This is in their XR series. It has a XR series battery on it. This is the DCD996. This is available in kits and individually. There's also a newer version of this that jumps into the into the flex system that uses these 60 volt batteries which will give you even more torque than this one but right now in the cordless drill line this is probably one of the strongest ones in the dual line so we're going to go and drill right behind the holes here i drilled for another video we're going to drill and then you guys can compare the two and see which one you think does the nicest job here a uh, five amp hour battery four amp hour battery and then yeah let's have some fun with this One little hesitation, just as we were about ready to break through the ice. Otherwise, it just went right on down. This is a two-speed drill, and it was in its low speed. So let's switch over to the DeWalt. And it, this is a three-speed. And it is in its lowest speed, and I think we're good to go. So again, now it's the DeWalt drill. And all the way through. No hesitation, no stalling whatsoever with the DeWalt. These are two options for using the K drill. This is an eight inch K drill that I have here. So it's going to be the most common that most fishermen use. Both drills have got a lot of torque, a lot of horsepower. Obviously, as we came through at the, the breakthrough point of the ice, the Ryobi paused during that. A smaller battery pauses more often as you're drilling. We have another video and you guys can check that out. But for most homeowners, this is a lot of torque. If you're serious about needing torque, you might want to be looking at the DeWalt or looking at their more advanced uh, one that they just came out with. It's a little more expensive, but it has a little bit more torque again. Or for a lot of people, and you're going to put it in the comments, I know you will, you're going to say, hey, what about the, the, the Milwaukee? The Milwaukee one is a Pro Series line, not really two point in the same line as these. It has about 1,200 inch pounds of torque. So it's, it's a step above both of these drills when it comes to power and such. I'll put links in the description below so you guys can check these out. Thank you for watching. This is John Young here out on the frozen lake in central Minnesota. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.